Hi, welcome back to another video. Now in this part, we'll be learning about two different types of systems which help us achieve focus in our image. Now when I say focus, all I mean is that we need a way to tell our lens what is our subject in our image and how to focus on it so that it comes sharp in our shot. There are two different ways to focus on a DSLR lens. One is called as autofocus and one is called as manual focus and we can switch between these two. So in this video, we'll be learning about how these two focus mechanisms work. Now, if you remember, we've actually already seen how autofocus works in an earlier video where we took the shot of the coffee mug. There, we had used autofocus to focus on our subject, which was the coffee mug in that case. But let's see another video to understand it better. When you're on autofocus mode, you'll have to locate a focus point on your screen. Here you can see that the focus point is represented by this red square. A focus point helps you tell the lens where exactly you want to focus on this image. So we move the focus point on our subject. The focus point always has to lie on the subject that you want to shoot. You can move around the focus point by using the keypad on the right. Once the focus point is on the subject, you can half press the shutter button to start the focusing process. Once the focus locks, you'll hear a beep and then you can take the shot. That's great. So now you know how autofocus works. Now what you don't know is how manual focus works. So let's look at another video which will demonstrate the usage of manual focus. First of all, change the focus mode to manual. Now when you're on manual focus mode, you'll have to locate a focus ring. This focus ring can be found next to the zoom ring on every lens. And it's much thinner than the zoom ring. Once you're able to locate the focus ring, you can rotate it. Rotating the focus ring will help you adjust the focus. So on manual focus, the focus point is disabled and does not do anything. You have to completely focus on the subject by rotating this focus ring with your hand. As you rotate the focus ring, you'll see that the subject goes in focus or out of focus. You have to adjust the ring in such a way that the subject looks in focus. And when that's the case, you simply press the shutter button all the way down to take the shot. That's great. So now you know how manual focus works and you also know how autofocus works. Now let me ask you a question. Which focus mechanism do you think is better in taking shots? I'll give you a few seconds to think. So what's your answer? If your answer is autofocus, then you're correct. The reason why autofocus is better than manual focus is because of two reasons. Now the first reason is that autofocus is more precise and more accurate than manual focus. That's because in autofocus, a machine is doing its job. Whereas in manual focus, as we've already seen, and as the name suggests, you're manually focusing on something and your eye is determining whether something is sharp or something is not sharp. Now, since your eye is determining that, it is prone to human error. But in autofocus, since a machine is doing its job, there are very, very less chances of it going wrong. So one is precision. The second reason is the amount of time consumed. Manual focus is usually more time consuming than autofocus. So imagine a situation in which you're doing wildlife photography and you find that a bird comes and sits on a branch and you have to quickly take a shot. If you're using manual focus, then most of your time can actually go in rotating the focus ring and trying to achieve focus. By that time, you might miss the shot. But if your lens is set to autofocus, all you have to make sure is that the focus point is on the bird, you half press the shutter button to lock focus, and then you just complete the shot. And we've already seen that all this happens very quickly. Having said that, manual focus is also important sometimes. And these are situations in which autofocus does not work. One of the common situations in which autofocus does not work is when 
you're shooting in a low light situation. For example, night photography, especially night landscape photography where you don't have too much ambient light. In these cases, you may find that your autofocus does not achieve focus. So you can switch over to manual focus and you can take a shot. One of the specific examples of night landscape photography where we usually use manual focus technique is in astrophotography, which is photography of the stars. There are two main types of astrophotography. One is called a star trails, where we capture the trails of moving stars. And another one is called Milky Way photography, where we capture the Milky Way. Right now, you don't have to understand how to do these types of photography. We'll be looking at them later on in this course. But right now, what you have to understand is that in these types of photography, it is very essential to achieve a very accurate focus on the stars so that the stars come out to be very sharp in the shot. Now, since the stars are very far away from our camera and from us, it's usually not possible to achieve focus on them using autofocus. So what we use is we use manual focus. This is a technique, advanced technique, which we'll be learning later on called focusing to infinity, which can be done by using manual focus. And it works very great with these stars because it helps us achieve very sharp focus on the stars. So that's great. Now you know both our autofocus and manual focus mechanisms. And in this course, we'll mainly be using autofocus, but in some situations, I'll also be showing you where manual focus can be used. So that was great learning. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.